So now what? So now I bring Joe Jr. back to New Jersey to face charges for murdering my sister. That is, if Sonny isn't lying. You better hope you get to him first. I'm counting on it. Jason Morgan? Yeah? We have a problem. What, uh, what kind of problem? Please remain in your seat, sir. Why? You're on our watch list. Since when? Excuse me. You did this. You're on the watch list? Mr. Morgan, are you carrying a firearm? No. Did you pack one in your check luggage? Yeah, I filed the necessary Please paperwork. Please remain in your seat while we retrieve your belongings from the hold. We need your license and permit for the verification process before we can examine them. I'm just curious, how long does something like that usually take? Yeah, a couple hours. Whew, a couple hours. It's a tough break, Morgan. I'll see you around. Excuse me, gentlemen. What's going on? What do you think? Have you got Joe Jr.? I hit a snag. What kind of snag? John McVeigh. This magnifying glass is from 1884. It has the original lens, the handle is brass, and it comes with a stand. Well, you say she likes mysteries. Well, this will go a long way to getting you out of the hole you're in with your wife. <laughs> Girlfriend. Oh, my mistake. Uh, Mr. What did you say your name was? McVeigh. You know, uh, you can call me John. You mind if I call you Joe? I was on a plane with you. McBain left right after he put me on the TSA list. Damn it. I should have never told McBain that Joe Jr. might be in New Orleans. Don't worry about it. I just, I just called the Lexus. Okay, I got it. We're out of here. And it looks like Alexis just shut the TSA agents down. All right, do me a favor. If McBain has Joe Jr., you need to somehow or another bring him to me because I'm, I have to be the one to finish this. Sonny? Hey. Put the antique thing. You know, I, I don't have a lot of cash on hand, but you're welcome to what's in the register. I want your cash, Joe. I want you. Why, why do you keep calling me Joe? My name's right outside on the sign. Joseph Scully, Jr., born in Brooklyn, New York, to Joseph Scully, Sr. Wife Marie. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Uh, what McBain was it? You know, my father was in trucking and transportation. My father was a mid level monster. His territories included Bensonhurst and Bay Ridge. You were the family screw up. So he shipped you off to Atlantic City, where you ran a club there called the Sea Breeze. Turn around. <sighs> you know, Turn around! I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, listen, I, I've never even been to Atlantic City. Sure, you have. You're the so-called manager of the Sea Breeze. Until you killed one of the dancers. Her name was Teresa. Uh, she was my sister. You've got the wrong guy. Sonny Corinthos disagrees. Uh, I see it's all coming back to you now. You remember the girl who fought you off? So you had to kill her and run away? Leaving Corinthos behind to clean up your mess while your daddy shipped you down here to hide? can't hide forever. So I'm taking you back to New Jersey. We're going to stand trial for Teresa's murder. You shouldn't have come in warns, Mr. McBain. McBain, you're a long way from home. Lieutenant McBain. Huh. So you are Joe Scully. So much for having the wrong guy. Your problems with Sonny Corinthos, not with me. Whatever story that you heard about this Teresa and me, it's a lie. As I recall, Sonny was the one who killed her, even though he walked. Your father told Corinthos if he took the fall for you, he'd make the charges go away. He did, and so did you. You've been hiding out down here ever since. Is that so? I pulled the van around. Can't run forever, Joe. I'm not going anywhere, Lieutenant. You are. Well, you're the detective, so... deduce. I'm not going back to Atlantic City, and I can't have you telling anyone where to find me, so what do you think that means? You're taking me on an all-expense-paid cruise to the Bahamas? Not a cruise, but there will be water. You see, Lieutenant, I need you to disappear. 
This may surprise you. I'm not loving the idea. Oh, but you're forgetting the best part. You know, pretty soon you'll be reunited with Teresa. Lovely girl. Let's get him in a van. Yeah. I wouldn't. Kick? I'm not a cop. Don't do this, Morgan. Do what? Now you're going on the trip, buddy. To Port Charles. What about Atlantic City? Sonny Corinthos left Atlantic City a long time ago. Sonny? Morgan here works for Corinthos, who's got not so fond memories of you. And from the looks of it, he's about to get some payback. By the way, thanks for the safe. Yeah, you're welcome. You know what? I'm going to return the favor. I'm going to save you some criminal charges you probably don't need. Won't you let me call this in? He'll be extradited to Atlantic City. To stand trial for murder and prosecuted within the full extent of the law. You know, that's not gonna happen. Okay, fine. You, you know, arrest me. I'll cooperate. If I let you take him in, the lawyer's gonna have him back out on the street. It's not the way the system always works, all right? You know, sometimes they get it right. Hey, what, you just gonna leave me here? Come on, Morgan, a little help. Sorry. Tough break, McBain.